Hello, everybody. My name is Shubhna Paramesh, and along with my partners, Felipe Shiva and Rishi Singhal, uh, we implemented a 172 by 510 size drum in, onto the Altair D5 board. So some of the interesting facets about our drum are that we parallelize across the various columns, and it only takes us one cycle to, to compute the the current value at each node across across a row. Uh, in addition, we use a serial, we, we serially write the initial values at the beginning of our, in the, right before we, we play our drum sounds. And the reason we do this is so that we can save on uh, space in the ROM. We can save the space that we would have used for a ROM. And also so that we, we won't need to use the, uh, hardware elements on the FPGA to build the addressing scheme to access the ROM. Uh, in addition, we also use uh, the HPS to, so we pass in the data, the initial values from the HPS serially by controlling an enable line signal, by controlling an enable line and using the clock signal from the FPGA. Uh, in addition, from the HPS side, we also include a, um, uh, a PIO port to set the, the row values, the initial row value. And then uh, we use the HPS to, to time our, the stop and start sequence for one, for one iteration through the drum. And uh, I guess I'll just sort of walk you through how each of the sounds sounds. Uh, right now I'm going to the first sound. Right now all the values are being written in from the HPS uh, serially into the drum. Uh, the, text you see flashing across the screen is the row and the column for which the initial value is being written. And uh, we built a 172 by 510 node drum. So once this hits 172 by 510, you should be able to hear the first sound. And that first iteration took 19,100 nanoseconds, which is, uh, which sort of stays consistent with how long, um, uh, with, our, with our one cycle per, per row timing and uh, using a 50 megahertz clock. So now I'll play the, the second sound. Yes, just loading in the initial values and uh, and then this is uh, the last sound. And that's got a nice ringing effect to it. And those are the three sounds we implemented. Uh, the one additional fact is that we used a pyramid structure for implementing the initial values, and uh, we set the, the maximum height and we extend the py pyramid across the entire drum. And uh, one advantage of using the HPS to write in the initial value serially is that we can quite easily change up the structure of our for initial values, and uh, that helps us produce nice and interesting sounds. And uh, that's about it. I uh, hope you read our report and enjoy our project. Thank you.